Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. You guys loved the American Girl Outrageous eBay listings video and you wanted me to make it a series. So today we're exploring the outrageous eBay listings of the Bratz franchise. I do collect Bratz, just not as heavily as American Girl and Rainbow and Shadow Highs. Um, my window is open and all the pets are in here with me. So I'm sorry for any background noise you may hear. Also, I had a concert this weekend. So if my voice is like really, ugh, um, I do apologize, but I was, I was going hard. So anyway, um, when it comes to Bratz, there are, I think brats are kind of known for how expensive they are to collect. Um, just based on the couple doll lines that are, you know, I think like, I don't know, I am really into like maybe eight or 10 doll lines specifically. I don't collect them all, but brats out of the ones I'm super familiar with, this is where the scalping, if you will, really gets kind of out of hand in my personal opinion. Now, just to clarify, this is not to bash anybody who does pay these prices for these dolls. This is just my literal sarcastic opinion, and you guys thought everything I said was freaking hilarious in the other one. I don't know why, but if you do pay these prices for dolls, like, please do not take offense to this. Like, it's just something that you guys really enjoyed, and I kind of, like, love seeing these jaw-dropping prices and giving my opinions on them. So, I just picked a couple. I basically just go to eBay and filter, like, most expensive expensive and like the highest price to the lowest price and then I pick the ones that kind of some of these are dolls that I really want myself and to see how much they are I'm like uh no way and others I'm just like why so without further ado I got my coffee let's do it for $9,500, you can get a lot of first edition Bratz Girls and 2003 second edition Bratz Boys. Um, and you get free four day shipping. So woohoo. Um, no. Who? What? I literally, most of these videos, I become very speechless and it's just a lot of me stuttering because I don't know what the actual heck to say. Um, so, <clears throat> excuse me, see my voice. We're already starting off on a bad note. But anyway, I, because there's the original Bratz release in 2001 and then they have their 2005 re-releases um, where the holes were punched in the feet so they could fit on the runway. And then, and then they have the 20th anniversary reproductions, which I do own all of because I was four when the originals came out and I don't think my parents wanted four-year-old me to be playing with brats. Um, but that's beside the point. Like there's so many other versions of these dolls you can get. And as someone who doesn't collect boy dolls, like this doesn't even appeal to me in the slightest, but why would you charge almost $10,000 like what why i saw a lot of the class dolls but this sasha was the most expensive one um so my thing is when you find a brats doll like if you know what you have um that's fine but i wonder a lot of the time if people just kind of look these up and they like see somebody else label them as rare and i'm not saying this is the case with this particular doll but i'm just wondering like if you're just someone who's reselling do you just like think if you put rare on it you can like jack up the price times like 20 and everything will be fine. Like, I don't, I don't know, but I did see a lot of the class dolls. I know they're a bit more difficult to find, but even though this one's new in box, I still wouldn't spend over a thousand dollars on her. If the $2,000 wasn't enough, or I guess it does say or best offer, but like, I mean, I don't know. Um, you also have to pay $20 shipping on this Rock Angel Sasha. Now, I don't know if there's like, I know there's a variant of I think it might be only some Rock Angels dolls. I probably should have looked this up. But I think they have like um, a tattoo. They have tattoos, I think. If I'm completely wrong and I'm just making this up. Because I know there's the totally tattooed line. But I swear to you guys, there is like, there's tattooed Bratz Rock Angels out there. Like, I don't, if there was a way to tell on this one, if it was that variant, maybe I could be a little more lenient with understanding why this is being priced this high. But we also have the 20th anniversary reproductions for these dolls. Now... I know that some people, well, a lot of people actually say that they don't look the same. With my visual impairment, it's very difficult for me to tell, like, all the Bratz screenings apart. So I can't really um, make any comment on that because they don't really look um, any different to me in my personal opinion. I used to have Chloe and Yasmin from the original Rock Angels. I have since sold them. I don't have any of the reproductions, but I do plan to get probably, I don't know, I really want the jade the most, but seriously, like, the fact that we have a reproduction of this girly that you can go buy for, like, $35 in the store, like, why would you, no. Secret Date Megan for $1,650 plus the uh, $20 shipping. Um, she's in box, so I mean, that's fine, but if you don't know, Megan is my favorite character, and it is, like, my life's mission to collect every single Megan doll, and 
I literally, I also saw Secret Date Chloe in, um, I think it was a couple listings below this, but I didn't want to do two dolls from the same line, but she was a little bit cheaper, but I just don't, why? Yes, they're in box, but if you think about it, sometimes dolls in box aren't always in the best condition because they've been kept in there for like, in this one's case, probably like 20 years almost, and her like elastics are probably like, you know, the stuff that's holding in her hair and everything, it's all probably like dry rotted and it's just... I sometimes think like maybe it'd be better to buy some of these dolls out of box for way less and then just fix them up because they might actually be in better condition. But that's just me. Sweet dreams. Pajama party Sierra. And she is $2,000 with the $10 shipping fee. So this line in particular, it has Sierra, Sierra, excuse me, it has Felicia. I didn't see any sweet dreams Felicia's, but don't worry, we got some Felicia's coming. Um, this is the third of the triplets. And I think this is only, this is her second doll. I think she only got two dolls like Felicia. But if I'm wrong, I'm sorry. But um, I'm not really a fan of like pajama lines in general because I don't really like dress any of my dolls in them that I change. But like these, I, I, the way I display brats is I keep them all in their regular clothes. But the thing is like, why? I don't understand like, this poor doll is so freaking pretty, and if you're somebody who only wants to collect the brats that you really like, but you're not going to spend, like, y'all, this is, like, house payments for people in the form of this little plastic doll. Like, I don't, I love the brats, don't get me wrong, but I just don't understand. <clears throat> oh my god, my voice. I am so sorry, you guys. Campfire Felicia is next, and yes, she does come with, like, both of her outfits and both pairs of her feet, which is a plus, but the thing is, like, I like Felicia. She's really cool. I've never seen one in person, though, but I don't understand why they had to choose to give this doll the most unique skin tone to the brat line in a lot of people's opinions, and then only give her two dolls, and then, you know, like, I say two dolls. I'm not counting her holiday one because, you know, at the time when brats were like originally around that doll didn't exist yet so now they did give her a third doll which is more affordable um i still don't have her yet i would really like to own her but i just haven't um gotten around to it yet but like i just this one isn't even in box and look how much they're charging this is the highest price felicia that i was able to find just based on using um the my filtering but i'm sure like i mean this is the only one that's out at the time right now that i can find but i get you guys know there's been felicia's that have gone for way way more than this even like ridiculous i've seen felicia's that have like chewed up hands or chewed up um nubs on their feet and they're completely nude and they go for like nine hundred dollars on mercari like what why i don't know I, and it's not like you can like find another um shoe for her because like i said her skin tone is unique so like you can only put her in like felicia shoes i mean you could probably do like boots because you can't like see the skin tone of the doll but it's not easy to find shoes for this girl um to be replaced with you know what i mean so like i don't Oh my goodness, it's just poor Felicia because she's so freaking stunning. While we're on the topic of Felicia, here is her gorgeous big babies. Now, I never had any of the big babies as a kid. My sister did, um, but it was like the Yasmin. It wasn't the ones with the like actual hair like this. I think these would actually be really cool, even though I'm not into baby dolls. Bratz big babies are actually kind of cool. So this is another Felicia doll option. It's for $6.50, but then you have to pay like the ridiculous amount of shipping here. Um... I don't know why, like, I don't even know if she comes with all of her stuff. Like I said, I'm not super familiar with the Big Babies dolls, um, so I don't know if she had, like, a couple more things she um, could have come with, but she's not even in a box, and, like, you could buy basically six American Girl dolls for this price. I just don't... I don't know. It's not even in, like, the main brats, because, you know, the main brats are basically, you know, the regular, what are they, like, 12 inches, I think? I think they're 12 inches. If not, I'm stupid and don't know what I'm talking about. But, you know, like, the smaller brats, not the minis or the kids or whatever, but, like, you know, this is a brat's baby, and it's being priced for, like, basically $700 when you, like, include all the shipping and crap. So, I don't know. I think she's a really pretty brat's baby, though, not gonna lie. Midnight Dance Fianna is one of my holy grail brat's dolls, and to see her priced at this new inbox really hurts. Because, like I was saying earlier, sometimes, even though they say new in box and they come new in box, doesn't necessarily mean they're going to be perfect. Considering the fact how long these ones have been sitting in the box for, I am not an inbox collector. I'm not saying if you are an inbox collector that you're doing it wrong. Like, it's all just based on personal preference. But for me, like, I, 
I am just way too like I need to touch them and like play with their hair and everything like that so that's why I don't do in box collecting um but I just it really makes me sad and then of course you do the rare hard to find blah 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 like labeling it and again that begs the question like are you do you know that this is particularly hard to find or are you just doing this because you think if you put this then you can like the way the what you're charging is more justifiable I don't know I love this doll I know she's extremely difficult to find and that makes me very very sad wicked twins out of box four or five hundred it looks like they come with all their pieces though i don't think they came with second outfits because they're twins um they are basically part of the princess line i didn't include them in my <clears throat> brats video like for my top 30 favorite um brats lines princess is my favorite because i couldn't find like a picture of all of them together so um anyway they're out of box that's 250 dollars basically if you split it in half for an out of box little doll like i could buy like two and a half american girls or a really good looking custom american girl for that or even a create your own but i don't really like spending that much on those but like these are cool not gonna lie but uh my personal preference i would definitely not i would much rather buy like a ton of ags or like two series of rainbow or shadow highs at this price than just pay for like one doll now do i like them yes would i pay this price absolutely not out of box passion for fashion sasha now i saw a ton of dolls from this line so i don't know if you guys can help me out is this line difficult to find it is a line that i really do like it was in my top 30 lines video but is it difficult to find let me know if you guys know because i saw a ton of dolls from this line and i just picked the sasha because she's really really pretty and a lot of them were new in box which i mean that was fine so this one was kind of like oh wow she is um out of box and a lot of the listings said she was rare and hard to find and it got me thinking like maybe she wouldn't be so rare and hard to find if a ton of people lowered the prices on her but i don't know that's just me this 300 150 dollar um genie magic megan brand new in box is the cheapest doll on this list but genie magic megan is the only megan i had as a kid and since we cannot locate my brats collection from my childhood i want this doll so bad and a part of me really does want her new in box so that i don't know i can feel like i'm a kid again and reopening her i don't know if that's stupid but nostalgia is what it is but i really would like to have her complete so i don't know if i will ever get her in the state that i want her in but i mean honestly i have no issues finding like a bad one and fixing her up because i've done that with a ton of dolls already but i wanted her on this list because she is one of the brass dolls i absolutely want the most and it's just really i will never spend this amount of money on her if you are someone who like would pay this price like please again remember i'm not like coming for you or whatever it's all just based on personal preference but these are just my thoughts and opinions and i really just i would give anything to have her but i don't i don't know if i'll have her anytime soon so those are the listings i picked for this video yes some of them were sold from different countries so it was able to calculate like the price difference and everything but still like you have to pay like the shipping to come to the u.s where i am and it's just it's a whole thing you guys know shipping is absolutely outrageous right now and that just like adds to the absolute chaos of purchasing these dolls so i did want to throw that in there again if you are someone who pays this price for dolls i'm stressing it for the third time I am not making fun of you or bashing you in any way. It is all just based on personal preference. So let me know what doll line you would like to see me do next in this series. We could go Monster Ever After, uh, My Scene, More American Girl. Um, I'm trying to think. Like, I don't really, I'm not really interested in any other doll lines per se. Like, I mean, I like Winks and stuff, but let me know, like, what you guys would like to see next. So maybe, I don't know if there are already rainbow and shadow outrageous prices. There probably are because, you know, people are crazy. Um, yeah, um, I do collect OMGs as well, so we could probably do that too. I don't know. Let me know what doll line you want to see next because this is, this is fun and I love doing this. It's so funny to see all these prices. So if you have not already, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button to join the fam, and tap that really cool notification bell so you can know the exact moment I post a new video. Have a blessed day and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye, everybody.